Hello everyone and welcome to my channel or if you've been here before, welcome back. Thank you for coming back. <laughs> As you can see by the title today, I am just filming a really chill chit chat, life update, Q&A sort of video. Um, if you've been following me for a little while now, you'll know that I really like to film these sort of videos when I get back onto YouTube. I like to just sit down, have a little chat and let you guys know what's been going on with me um, and just answer a few other little questions that I've never actually answered on my channel before. Um, so yeah, that is what this video is going to consist of. Um, also, let's not talk about my hair. I don't know what she's doing today. She doesn't like me, so we're just not going to talk about it. Um, I have all of the questions on my phone I actually asked you guys to give me questions on Instagram and I actually got quite a few which is really good um, I've actually already filmed this video but I went to edit it yesterday and realized I somehow managed to delete a massive chunk of the video so here I am filming it for the second time hopefully all goes well this time <laughs> um, but yeah let's just get straight into this video So as I said, all of the questions are written in my phone. So I'm literally just going to go through, read them out and answer them. Um, so the first one, it's quite funny, is do people pronounce your name wrong and does it annoy you? <laughs> Good question. Um, yes, they do pronounce it wrong and no, it doesn't annoy me. Um, in saying that, I do find it quite strange how people manage to pronounce it wrong. Um, so my name is Hanui but I get Hanui a lot and obviously there's like a massive difference um, and I don't know why they change it to Hanui. I think maybe that's just like the easy, lazy way of saying it, which I have literally no problem with. It's completely fine. Um, I've had people call me Hanui like my whole life and it doesn't bother me whatsoever. Um, I just find it strange how people go from me introducing myself as Hanui to them turning it into Hanui. <laughs> Very strange, but yeah, I really don't care. It's not that big of a deal at all. Next question is thoughts on Facetune or photo edits? Um, so I really like this question actually. Um, photo edits is I reckon super important for if you want to be putting out really good content. So if you want your Instagram to be all looking like really cohesive, um, then obviously using like presets or just editing your photos all in the same way I think is really cool. Um, and that's how people show their creativity and um, how they express themselves. So photo edits themselves, like changing the color tones, changing the brightness and the vibrance and the contrast, all that sort of stuff. I think that is so cool and how people can change their photos from looking like one thing to a complete different like color or like effect. I think is so cool. Um, I'm still trying to wrap my head around all that stuff, but um, yeah, photo edits or presets, I think are literally the best thing ever because they make your photos look amazing. Facetune on the other hand is a little bit of a different story. Um, I, to be honest, have Facetune myself. The only thing I use it for though is um, for my skin. So I, if I have like blemishes or like my pimples and stuff, there's a tool on there called the patch tool and I use that to get rid of my pimples because that is something I'm very insecure about and it's very obvious in a lot of my photos. So I use that and the blurring tool. I don't use it for anything else. Um, so I think if you're using Facetune for like those sorts of things, just to make yourself look and feel a little bit better about your photo, then I think that's completely fine. Um, whereas if you're the type of person who's using Facetune to change the shape of your body, um, change the shape of your face, just literally like change your appearance completely to the point of where if I, if I saw you in person, I'd be like, oh, okay, that's not how you look in your pictures, then I think it's wrong. I also think it's wrong to be posting that on um, social media, especially if you have, like, a decent following where you have people who are, like, younger kids who are following you. They're looking up to you, and if they see your photos are, like, super face-tuned, and then they saw you in person, I feel like they'd be super insecure about themselves. Um, and, yeah, it's just really unrealistic. So I, that's just my opinion. I like Facetune for, as I said, the things that you, just the little things that you want to fix, like pimples or anything like that, like scars or whatever that you don't want in your picture. I think that is completely fine. But my personal opinion, I just don't really like when people are changing the shape of their face and of their bodies. It's really not needed, I don't think. Personal opinion though, don't come for me. <laughs> All right, next question is how many piercings and tattoos do you have? Um, P.S. Sorry if you can hear the noise in the background. I live with my family and they are deciding to be super loud right now. So that's just 
great. Thanks, guys. Um, anyways, back to the question. I have one, two, three piercings on my earlobes. Then I have two piercings on my cartilage. And then one piercing in my tragus on this side. Um, and then I have the top and the bottom of my belly button pierced as well. So one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. So I've got eight piercings. Um, tattoos, I have one on my foot, one on my calf, one on my ribs, one on my finger, which is barely even there anymore, um, one on my arm, one on the back of my arm, and one on my leg. So I have seven. <laughs> um, and I got my first one when I was 16, believe it or not. Um, that is my tamako. If you don't know what that is, it's a traditional moldy tattoo. My parents got it for me for my birthday when I was 16. Yes, I am very lucky. Some people did not like that though because I was so young. But you know what? I don't care. It's still my favorite tattoo ever. Next question. What keeps you motivated? Um, good question. I guess if we're talking like fitness and health wise, um, yeah, the main thing that keeps me motivated is realizing how I feel and how I look um, after staying on track with my health and my like you know my fitness my working out and like eating and all that sort of stuff remembering how that makes me feel is the thing that keeps me the most motivated um, and then obviously having people around you that make you feel super motivated is really important as well um, you know your friends if they um, eat healthy like you or they train like you or anything like that is very very helpful um, if you have any friends that do the complete opposite to what you want to be doing and like how you want to be living your lifestyle I would suggest maybe not hanging out with them as much just because um, other people's way of living life can be very influential so yeah myself and how I feel and the people that are around me is what keeps me motivated. Next question. Ooh, how has this virus affected you? So, obviously everyone knows that we are dealing with a pandemic at the moment called COVID-19. So when it first um, became, or well, when it first hit WA really, um, I lost my job pretty much straight away because I was only a casual um, if you didn't know, I was working at Benefit Cosmetics and obviously we work very close face to face doing um, makeup, facial waxing, all of that sort of stuff. Um, it's customer service so um, I was bound to be let go quite quickly anyway but um, because I was a casual I was the first one to go. Technically I am still employed by them but I'm just not working obviously because there's no beauty or anything like that happening at the moment <laughs> I mean and then it's just affected me like it's affected everyone else just not having like a normal um, routine has been a really frustrating not having the gym and not having dancing has probably been so not having the gym dancing and work has really really affected my mental health um, having that routine and being able to get up and go to the gym or get up and get ready for work um, it kind of keeps you sane so without having those I have struggled a little bit um, but yeah, other than that, I'm quite lucky. My family is nice and healthy. We're all safe um, and we haven't been affected by it in that way. We have just been unlucky in like the job um, side of things. And yeah, I can't go to the gym, obviously. So I've had to adapt to working out at home just like everyone else has. And let me tell you, it's been a little bit of a struggle. <laughs> um, and then yeah, we are not having dancing as well has been a bit of a struggle as well. Luckily, it hasn't affected me really really badly apart from obviously losing my job um, but fingers crossed we will get past this soon and I will have my job back my gym back and dancing back and you guys will have everything that you guys want and need back <laughs> um, next question kind of follow following on from the question before it's how are you staying grounded and positive through this tough time so as I was saying like obviously I don't have work to go to which is super hard I kind of find myself moping around the house during the day because I have like nothing to do um, but like with the gym and stuff I've made sure that I've trained every day um, just doing pretty much what I would do at the gym just without the gym atmosphere and without all the gym weights um, so trying to keep a routine with that um, with dancing I've still been doing a lot of stuff online with all the students so that's been really helping me stay grounded and like stay sane um 
And then another thing, because I don't have work, obviously I've been finding myself, like a lot of you guys probably are too, a lot of spare time on my hands. <laughs> um, so, But I've been trying to still wake up at like a decent time in the morning and at least doing like one or two chores. Excuse me. Um, they could be like the most random chores, but I'll literally write... Oh my God, I can't speak. <laughs> um, I'll write them down in my diary like um, on the Monday or the Sunday night and just put on each day like what I want to do that day. So like if I want to clean my room and organize my makeup drawer, then that will be like the two things that I have to do on that day and make sure that I get them done. Kind of just keeps me like on track and gives me a little bit of a routine. Um, but yeah, other than that, I am struggling a little bit with this whole pandemic <laughs> um, with trying to stay grounded and stay sane because I lack a routine and I do not have a routine at the moment. So struggling a little bit, but I am surviving. So yeah. What are your biggest insecurities? So my probably my biggest one for like a few years now has been my skin. Um, I have been pretty unfortunate when it comes to my skin. I have constant breakouts, um, pimples, lots of scarring, all that jazz. Um, if you've seen my vlogs, you would have noticed um, that I have quite... Um, it's not the worst. Like, I don't have acne, but I do have breakouts and quite a few pimples. But yeah, if you have seen my vlogs, you would have noticed that because in a lot of my vlogs, I don't wear much makeup. Um... But yeah, I'm going through the stages of trying to sort that out. Um, I have been trying so many different things over the last five years and nothing has worked. Um, but I think I'm on the right track now to sorting it out. Um, I'm actually going to film um, some like skin care and like skin like my skin journey type video um, soon. So I'll obviously start it off and then in a few months I will give you guys updates on how my skin's going. Um, but yeah, that's definitely something that I want to talk to you guys about in a complete separate video. Um, but yeah, so that is probably my biggest insecurity. And another thing that I like love and hate is I have quite a small chest. <laughs> Sometimes I can be so insecure about it because I'm just like, I mean, I'm a woman, I want more here, but I don't have much here. But some days I'm like, ugh, I hate it. Other days I'm like, oh, I love this. I can go without a bra, I can wear like whatever top I wanna wear, but other days I would like to have more here. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's like, it's an insecurity, but not like I can survive without it, obviously. <laughs> like it's not, doesn't keep me up at night or anything like that. Next question is one from one of the dancing girls says, do you regret stopping stopping doing dance classes? Um, so if well, you, would, you guys wouldn't know this, but this year is my first year of not taking dance class. Um, I've been dancing for 17 years now, um, but decided last year that um, last year was going to be my last year of taking class. Um, I've just kind of gotten older and I'm trying to focus more on work and all that sort of thing. Um, but I am still teaching, so I still teach two nights a week and I am in charge of the hip hop crews at my studio, so it's still nice having that. Um, do I regret it? Not yet. <laughs> um, do I miss it? Yes. I do, I do miss um, being at dancing, especially now, like that I actually can't even be in the studio at all. I am missing dancing a lot, a lot, like I'm sure every other dancer is. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't regret it yet, but that could change mid -year. We will see. <laughs> All right, and the last question I have here is another dancing question is, what got you into dance and doing competitions? Um, so funny story, actually, my parents put me into a singing class at a dancing school. So they wanted me to sing and they wanted me to take singing lessons, which I did for a few years. Um, but yeah, when they enrolled me, the principal, I'm pretty sure of the dance school, just said to my parents, like, why not just enroll her in, um, a dance class as well and just see how she goes. Um, I'm not sure if it was like a package deal or whatever it was, but I ended up doing singing, jazz and tap because jazz and tap were like combined in one class. Um, and that was when I was four. So yeah, my parents put me in there and eventually I just ended up falling in love with dancing and decided eventually that I was gonna do every single style. <laughs> um, and I don't think my parents were too happy about that because 
dancing is really expensive but to this day i will tell them that it's their fault for putting me into singing class at a dance school so yeah there you go that's how i started dancing um and then what got me into competitions i actually can't remember what exactly got me into competitions it was probably just that I saw all the older girls doing it and I wanted to do it too. I think I did my first solo when I was six, maybe. Um, and yeah, competed for a lot of years. Twelve years, thirteen years I competed for. Um, yeah, this is the first year I haven't competed or I'm not competing. Um, but yeah, I can't remember exactly what it was that got me into competing I just know that I loved doing it and it cost my parents a lot of money <laughs> until I got older and started paying for it myself to this day I would still tell them that it's their fault for putting me into a, a singing class at a dancing school yes mum and dad that was your fault your fault <laughs> all right guys so that brings us to the end of today's video um, it was nice and chill just a quick chit chat Q&A life update nothing too exciting but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway um, obviously I currently have quite a bit of time on my hands so I am going to try and film more videos um, weekly um, definitely give me some ideas in the comments below of what I should film obviously it's a little harder trying to film content when you are stuck in your house um, so give me as many ideas as you want I already have quite a few written down in my phone I have quite a few um, videos including my boyfriend Zane as well so you guys will get to meet him properly hopefully soon um, we're planning on filming a video this weekend so yeah if you guys did like this video please make sure to give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already all my social medias will be in the description box below and hopefully I will see you in my next video bye guys